Welcome back to 6 News at 10. Time to take a look at your weather and we're starting off in Florida because we're talking about Idalia and uh, there has been some concerning data coming out with as far as the forecast track over the last couple of hours here. We're going to talk about that but first a live look at what's happening right now. You can see Tampa parts of Tampa down to Fort Myers up almost towards Gainesville at this point being inundated with some of the outer bands of Idalia. So several inches of rain possible there and a little bit of storm surge coming over the west coast as well. Not quite the storm surge that we're kind of expecting in the Big Bend region as it makes landfall early tomorrow morning and take a look all all the moisture trailing almost down to Cuba as part of this storm. And you can see the very well defined eye there, eye wall developing. So, again, very strong storm here. And it continues to intensify and it will continue to intensify overnight. Very warm Gulf waters leading to this intensification already at a category two storm with 110 mile an hour winds at this hour, making its way to the north at about 18 miles per hour. So let's put the track on it. This is the concerning part. So earlier when we looked at it during the five o'clock show, we were talking about a category three storm. Now we're looking at the possibility of a category four storm making landfall just to the east of Tallahassee. 130 mile an hour winds possible by tomorrow morning, and we're going to maintain that category four strength well inland dropping to about a category one as it makes its way towards uh, Charleston there with winds at about 80 miles per hour before it then continues its trek back out to sea as a tropical storm. So a very concerning situation storm surge of 10 to 15 feet possible as it makes landfall early tomorrow morning. So that's what's going on with the Adalia here closer to home. We're looking at temperatures right now in the mid and lower 80s across the area. Not bad. Most nights in the recent past, our 10 o'clock temperatures have still been in the 90s and we're not dealing with that right now. And by tomorrow morning, look for temperatures to be in the mid to lower 70s across the area. Some areas could see temperatures by tomorrow morning that we haven't seen since June. It's going to be a very comfortable morning. So anything that you need to get done, Get it done tomorrow morning because we'll start to see those morning lows come back up a little bit. The other half of the token, though, we talked about the temperatures. Now we have to talk about the humidity, those north winds, northeast winds bringing in drier air. Yeah, drier, of course, means lower relative humidity, which, of course, as we've talked about at length over the summer, means more fire danger. So red flag warning in effect for the Brazos Valley for tomorrow. Central Texas, though, not out of the watch area here as the Texas A&M Forest Service has us all under that very high risk of fire starting and spreading very quickly tomorrow. So be very vigilant. And of course, if you see anything, of course, say something as well. Tomorrow temperature wise, a cut and paste of today. We'll see temperatures right around 100 tomorrow. Fairly seasonal for this time of the year, and we're going to stay that way through the seven day forecast for both halves of the viewing area. Really, the only difference here, most both, both areas are going to be around 100 through the next seven days. The only difference, the Brazos Valley, slight chance for rain as we head towards the end of the weekend. That's weather. Sports is next.